What do you think the African leaders should concentrate on? What are they not doing? Well, so I'm far? actually very happy that uh, the, the, the summit is going to be there. I think what is important is the political will. Our leaders should not just go to these summits and uh, talk, talk, talk. They need to start walking the talk. So I advocate for that to say, you know what, there's no need for women to die giving birth. It's not acceptable. Why should children, the most vulnerable ones, the under fives, die from sicknesses like diarrhea, typhoid, malaria, and things like that? It's not right. Now, we need our leaders to be there. When donors come and give money for, do for, for, for donation, they have to use it appropriately, and that money should go to where it's supposed to go to. It should not be diverted to other places. So I think our leaders should really now try and say, this is our continent and we need to do things ourselves. Until when are we going to be having money for aid? It's not right. You know, so it, it, you know, we need political, lead, political will from all of this. Once they talk about these things, we need to see action. We need to the see voice of those uh, unsung uh, heroes, those women who walk 40 kilometers from places like Munyonyo or Mbarara without medication, without um, uh, places where they can go to, you know, to go and find medication. We need to make sure that women have got places where they could go, check their blood pressures, check their, uh, their HIV status, check everything, and not to schlep from one place to the other. I think it's, it's just not right for them to do that. So our leaders must just make sure that they're there for the I people. I think it was just so good that the World Cup was, um, it took place in South Africa. For me, South Africa is not South Africa on its own. South Africa is part of Africa. And for me, this is supposed to be an African experience. It has brought people together. It has given us um, good infrastructure. We've got great uh, infrastructure here, and that should be the legacy. And for me, that all people from walks of life, you know, from Brazil to Mexico to Kenya to Uganda, they were all in South Africa. And it has brought us together, really. No incident whatsoever maybe muggings here and there, because you have to be at the right place at the right time. You know, thugs will see an opportunity and they do everything. But I must say that the police, the government, everybody, community leaders were out there watching and this World Cup has gone without any incident. I think, it, and it's a good thing that it happened in Africa, because it's to show that this continent, it's not the dark continent. We Africans can do it and we've proven everybody wrong. This World Cup has made more money four times this, than the last one in Germany. So you can imagine that this Africa, had got, this Africa and this continent has got what it takes. We've got the infrastructure, we've got the know-how, we've got the resources, and we did it. And it has brought absolutely everybody together.